Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again. I am Bijal Bhar here. Today in this session, we will see how we can configure our router as a terminal server or access server. Basically, when we have multiple numbers of router and switches in our rack and we have to access those devices frequently, instead of connecting console cable on each device, we can configure a router as a terminal server through which we can access each device by their logical name in a single console interface. So the centralized management of each network device is possible using terminal server. So let's see how to configure terminal server in our router. As you can see here, we have added some router in our lab and a switch. Before starting any configuration, make sure that your router which have selected for the terminal server is having high speed WAN interface card. So you will have to add this one with your router. I have specially chosen this 1800 series router because this router will provide us that module and that is high speed WAN interface card with eight asynchronous port. So I'm going to add this one and other device will use an octal cable to connect with the terminal server. So let's proceed with the lab. So first of all, we'll have to add this module with this router. So switch it off and I'm going to add this one. Okay done. Now our terminal server router is ready for connecting other device and other device will use octal cable to connect with terminal server. So here is your octal cable, this one. So I'm going to connect this octal cable with console port and further in our async port. And this one is the first async port. Now I'll connect all the device with terminal server with all Async interface we have added in our terminal server router. Done. So let's proceed for the configuration. I have already given some steps. These are the basic steps for configuring terminal server. So first of all, we'll have to configure host name for the terminal server. Let's access the router. And as you can see here, this one is a fresh router. Nothing has configured right now. Enable configure terminal and the host name for the router will be access server. Done. What next I have to do here is I'll have to configure loopback interface. So the command will be interface loopback zero and IP address for loopback interface will be 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10 mask 255.255.255.255 a broadcast address and now I'm going to configure line interface. So before configuring line interface, you'll have to verify all the lines. So line command will be used here to verify the line number. And these are the line numbers which is connected with other device 0 to 7. So I'm going to configure this one. So configure terminal line. 0 slash 0 slash 0 space 0 slash 0 slash 7 okay so i'm going to use some options like transport input method will be telnet so transport input will be telnet so the telnet protocol will be used to access other device and the password will be pass 1 whatever and I'll have to define login option. Done. So the next step is very important. We'll have to add host name or logical host name for the device. So let's verify the port number first by using command li so line. And these are the line numbers which will be used for configuring your logical host name. Configure terminal. IP host is the command to add logical host name in your router for other device. So IP host R1 will be the host name or logical host name for the first device and which will be connecting through 2002 that is 2000 plus line number 2. Okay. And the IP address which will be used is 10.10.10 .10 which we have assigned in our loopback interface. Done. So for the second device, I'll use the logical host name as R2 and the logical port number will be 2003 with the same IP address and now for the third router or third device it will be R3 and the logical port number will be 4 
and the fourth device is a switch so I'm going to use SW1 as the logical name of fourth device and the logical port number will be 5 done now we'll have to save all the configuration using command copy running configuration to start of configuration done so now we can verify all the host we have added in our router so p host command will be used and you can see the logical name of your device and the port number they will use to connect with terminal server so we can easily access every device using their logical name so as you can see i'm typing r1 for the first device and it's prompting us for the password and the password was pass one and we are getting the control of first router and as you can see here even this router is a fresh router so i'm going to configure at least host name for this one configure terminal and the host name will be r1 the best thing about your terminal server is even if your router goes rebooted as you can see here i'm rebooting the router and still i'm accessing router from our terminal server no enable configure terminal host name will be r1 sorry r1 done and and now i will come back to my terminal server command line so what i have to do here is i'll have to disconnect router one and this is a very important key combination that is control shift six and then x control shift six then x to disconnect but still your terminal server is in station with router one so you can verify so station and as you can see here we have a connection connection number one with the logical host name of router one and that is r1 so i'll have to disconnect it before doing anything else done disconnect and the session number and now if i verify the session so session and there is no any open connection right now so if you want to connect with other device you just have to type the logical name of other device and again if you want to come back or disconnect control shift 6 and then x again i'm trying to access other device r2 and the password was pass1 yes even this router is a fresh router so i'm going to set host name at least done sorry it should be 2 okay and now i'm going to disconnect with second router control shift 6 and x again if you want to verify the session we are in both session right now and so session will be the command and as you can see here we are connected with both device and if i type here r3 r3 we can see that even this router is a fresh router so i'm going to set host name host name is r1 sorry r3 done and now i'm going to access switch device so disconnect with this one control shift 6 and x and r sw1 and the password was pass1 so right now in our switch so disconnect with this session control shift 6 and x but still we are in all session connected so you can verify so session and you can see we are connected with all sessions so if you want to disconnect with other device you can use disconnect one so our r1 will be disconnected if you verify the session again so session we can see that right now station number one is used by r2 so you will have to disconnect again and again so now you are not in with any session show session as you can see here 
So this is the terminal server you can use in your app to configure all the devices from a centralized location. I hope the session was informative for you. For more such topics, do subscribe to our channel. Till next one, bye-bye.